Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the remaining tabs on the screen, which are the split through the glass tabs. And remember that there's two other videos that talk about the tabs prior to this, and then of course separate entrance videos and getting started videos and all that. So by the time we're done with this one, we should be you should be good to go with pretty much the whole program as far as drawing the elevations go. So um, so a split is basically adding a vertical to a panel or set of panels to divide up uh, lights of glass. So a lot of times in a transom above a door, you're going to want to split that. So all you really need to do is define where it goes and how many of those splits you need. So if I say I want two splits and I want it to go um, in one given panel. So I can even split from the sill. So from panel two to two, from a height of zero, which is the ground, to a height of 48. So the only trick is you need a horizontal or you need a door head um, kind of transom bar, something for the split to go from. Uh, the, the place it goes to can either be a horizontal or a head, but uh, to start from it either needs a sill or a horizontal, so keep that in mind, or a, a transom bar. So um, that's how that works. So now if I add this, it's going to divide up panel 2 just like I told it to from 0 to the horizontal and it's equally divided so these lights here that it divided up are equally spaced right now there's no way to, to move that around so you would have to use CAD software to move these lines the vertical lines and adjust the sills and um, and then you would also want to just enter your glass manually so don't add uh, if you need to move it if you can add glass now and it'll all be equally sized but if you need it unequal you'd have to add it manually because um, or you can adjust, edit the glass in the jobs window with the uh, edit job glass button. But um, keep that in mind, that's how it works right now. But you can add splits like this up here, anywhere in one of these panels that's divided up. So that's how a split would work. Um, now miters, basically miters would just miter the corners of an elevation because if you told it to miter a vertical right here, it's only going to miter one side. So that's kind of funny. Um, but if I wanted to miter vertical zero, which is the very first, the jam, the left jam, left jam is always vertical zero, basically. If I wanted to miter the left jam, I do zero and check both boxes. And you'll notice how it miters whatever joins it so that it looks, you know, realistic. Um, it's going to give you the long cut. So this headpiece should be a little bit longer than like the standard headpiece, just because it's got that mitered corner. Um, this jam will be the same as this jam since it was full height anyway. But, uh, and then I would do the same thing for vertical number three, which is the right jam in a three panel opening. And then I've got my mitered corner look. So that's how that works. Um, might not be something you use often, but that's what it does. Okay, stops. If you want to add glass stops to any area of your drawing, this is where you would go. So basically we have to tell it the same type of thing what panels the stops go into from what location to what location and it has to be basically a light of glass that already exists so and then you're able to tell it what side the stop goes on so if I want the stops to be let's say in this whole top row I would say from panel 1 to 3 from a height of 48 so we always go from the, the bottom of the horizontal that we're working with to a height of 100, which is the top of the opening. So remember, the only exception for where we're dividing, uh, I mean, where we're defining a height is the top of the opening can be all the way to the top, but otherwise you're working with the bottom of the component. Um, so now I'm going to tell it I want all sides for the stop. And when I draw that in, it's going to show me these pink lines. Now, you actually have access to the stop parts and the profile of the stops here. So in your elevation parts or even your master framing uh, system window, you can you can adjust or add parts for that or profile. So if, if it's a half inch stop in all these areas here, I'm going to add the half inch stop. But you'll notice since I've already drawn it, now and it's stock length material so here we've got our horizontal stops vertical stops and notice glazing adapter material if we've got glazing adapter material um, I would put the part numbers here and back in the stop tab instead of adding 
glass stops, I could actually add adapters. And that's when it would go to the um, framing system, look up the part number for the stop or the adapter and use that instead of stops. The main difference is adapters have no profile, stops have a profile. Adapters won't show up on the drawing <coughs> just since there is no profile. And later on we might try and come up with a color like make it green or something like that just so that you see that they're there. But right now uh, you wouldn't see it on the drawing but you would see it in this list and the type would be adapter. So for glass stop, um, since I just changed that profile after the fact, after I added the stops, I want to delete them and add them back. So let's just do that real quick from uh, a height of 48 to 100. And then I'm going to do check the boxes here for top, bottom, left, right. And I'm going to add it. Now I should see more of a profile if I zoom in. You'll notice there's an actual profile to those stops. Before, with the zero profile, it's just going to be one line. So that's how the stops work. Um, now for an alternate vertical, and it's easy to delete those just like anything. An alternate vertical would be where you would use a corner post um, or an expansion mullion, something other than a standard vertical or jam. So if I want the left corner or the left side of this elevation to be a corner, uh, the first thing I'm doing is telling it what profile. So let's say it's four and a half. Uh, or I'm sorry, I have to enter the vertical number. So the vertical number left jam is always zero. So it works from left to right. And then the profile would be 4.5. So when I add that to the elevation, that's when it comes up and asks me for a part number. So I can right click in that little area that says right click. It comes up with my entire parts list. Um, and I can try and uh, find a part. Uh, I was hoping it might have something for post, but if you do know the part number, you can type it in. If not, you know, you can scroll down and find it. Anything with a stock length would probably start with a two. So here I can go ahead and pick um, just any old part. So when you pick a part, you hit insert part. That adds it to the alternate material list. And then that's now being used for this corner post. So uh, keep that in mind. If you do a corner post, the elevation that joins up to it might have an excluded jam so that you're not du duplicating material or you're not you know, getting jam material when you don't need it. So keep that in mind. I can go back and edit this, um, this right here and then uh, see what part number I used for that alternate. So I have to click this little three dot button and here's the part number I'm using for the alternate. So that's how you would edit something you've already entered. Um, so let's go ahead and look at exclude real quick. And exclude would be if I want to exclude the right jam. So all I'm doing is I'm adding. I would take my mouse and actually click on that member. It shows me what it is. The code we use is RJ. When I update the drawing, it shows the dashed line. So that's pretty much um, excluding. It shouldn't show up on the parts list. It shows up as a dashed line on the drawing. And look for another video for the glass.